Hello everybody, Mark G with a C, back with another video. Um, it's another contest entry video. The contests are coming in thick and fast. Um, so I thought I'd best show my support for these channels, get my entries in. This one is for um, Travis over at Lyricy17 or Lyricai17. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but he's a fairly new channel to me. Guy's got a, an immense beard. You know, I'm a fan of beards, but he's got an immense beard. Um, and more importantly, he's got a great collection. Um, a lot of stuff he shows is just right on my street. He's, he's into all sorts of stuff, you know, from from real sort of dark wave, um, synthy kind of music, all the way up to, you know, the most sort of brutal old school death metal. Anyway, he's having a competition, uh, a contest, I should say. Um, a pile of tapes contest it's called um, and you can win a pile of tapes simple as that now I've primarily I'm a CD collector I do have a, a small sort of vinyl collection and, and a cassette collection I've, I've probably got maybe 150 cassettes or so um, but yeah like I say it's about supporting one another's channels um, I would have liked to make made this entry earlier but like I said in my previous video it's sort of family life gets in the way you know especially when you've got little ones but anyway please go and check out um travis's channel larissi 17 like i say great taste in music and great collection so he asked two questions really the first question was to see if you could show the um the first cassette tape that you ever bought and if you still had it and i actually have um and this is the first cassette tape i ever bought and it is Twisted Sister. Now, it's not the first record I ever bought. I used to buy vinyl um, back in the day, but this was the first cassette I ever bought. Um, Twisted Sister, Love is for Suckers. And if you can see the tape there, you can see how worn out. There's not much print left on there. There is on that side a little bit, but um, I hope you can see that. So yeah, Twisted Sister. What do I need to say about Twisted Sister? We all know, we all know Dee Snyder. This is, um, for me, this is quite an underrated album. I absolutely love it, but I would, you know, because it's uh, it's got sort of sentimental value to me. Um, but I always loved the song, You Are All That I Need. I thought it was a great tune, that. But yeah, Wake Up The Sleeping Giant, Hot Love, Love Is For Suckers, I'm So Hot For You, Me And The Boys. Yeah, great album. So um, that's it. I, a lot of the cassettes I did have back in the day, um, have well gone now I sold them or traded them or whatever but um, yeah I managed to hang on to a few of my early uh, early cassettes from my collection this is it Twisted Sister Love is for Suckers and question two Travis asked um, to show two tapes that are your, you know your favourite tapes cassette tapes you, or two that mean a lot to you now I've got four here and these are all demo tapes um, I've got quite a few cassettes on that rack there that, that mean a lot to me you know and the, the, I love them in my collection you know they're, they're, um, they're either hard to find or just take me back to a place um, remembering where I bought it and what I was doing but these four are kind of more personal to me so I'm going to show you these now I showed you a couple of these in um, in a previous video uh, Brendan was talking about prize possessions um, and this is Cradle of Filth's demo, Total Fucking Darkness. Um, this was given to me by the band at a gig. I seem to, if I remember rightly, the gig was in Liverpool, maybe the Royal Court. Um, and we met Danny and the guys, like as I, I was, I was playing in my band, not on the same bill, but um, I'm sure this gig was put on by the same promoters that, that we were using at the time. Um, syndicate they were called this is their 92 uh, demo and like I say to be honest all of these I'm going to show you they were all given to me by um, by the bands you know so they've got that personal touch to them that's the J card there you don't see many of these around anymore do you I know they've just released um, the demos on a, on a CD um, and I'd quite like to get hold of that to be honest um, I should keep my eye out for it. So yeah, that's uh, that's first one, Cradle of Filth, and Total 
fucking darkness. Second up is Catalepsy and Faces of Death. Um, this was Nick Barker, uh, who went on to be the drummer for Cradle of Filth, uh, Dimmy Borgu, Dimmy Borgie. Um, I think he had a short spell with Testament Live. I think he's playing the Nuclear Assault at the moment. Um, but this was his band. They went on to um, get signed to Vinyl Solutions um, and changed the name to Monolith from the Sheffield area. Um, we did quite a few gigs with these guys back in the day, so we got really friendly with all of the lads. Um, Austin, the vocalist, Colin, Colin and Mark, the guitarists, yeah. Uh, but Nick, Nick was um, Nick was very instrumental in the in the beginning of Enchantment's career, to be honest. And um, I'll show you why in a second. So yeah, that's Catalepsy, Face of Death. If you don't know Catalepsy or Monolith, as they want to be, um, old school death metal, got that real sort of um, kind of a bit of a Swedish, old school Swedish style. But they were just just great. But a sort of death metal, just just Nick was always a great drummer. And I'm sure any of you people out there know in um, Nick Barker's drumming the bands he's been in, you know how good he is. So, yeah, and talking of Nick Barker, this is uh, the next one I wanted to show is uh, my old band's demo. This is an original demo tape from back in the day, 93. This was released, we recorded this in, uh, in Preston. Um, and Nick Barker came along to the recording um, and kind of produced it for us. The guy, it, the studio we were in, um, he didn't really, I don't think he'd ever recorded a death metal band before. Um, so he didn't really know what he was doing other than working the actual machines for us, you know, the equipment. So to so have Nick there coming along, that was our J card. Couple of lads who went to school with uh, helps us out with this. Proper DIY. With that DIY that we couldn't even make it fit in the case properly, as you can see, just the, the end curled over. But yeah, just um, one of the songs. Um, one of the songs from this. There they are. One of the songs made it onto our album, God Send, um, and the others didn't quite. But you know, you never know what'll happen in the future, do you? And as you can see there, engineered by Nick Barker of Monolith. Um, not spoken to Nick for a very long time, um, but he's, you know, what a, great, what, a great, what a great career he's had, or he's still having. Nothing on that on the cassette, but um, yeah, that's my band's demo. And the fourth of the four I'm gonna show, again, um, given to me by the lads in the band, is uh, Anathema and their second demo, All Faith is Lost. Now, Anathema, Anathema, I'm not quite sure really how you want to pronounce it, but <clears throat> these guys obviously have gone on and they're more of like a um, sort of porcupine tree, pineapple thief sort of style on the K-Scope label, more of like a proggy, prog rock, alt sort of band. Um, but we played with these guys um, I think we did one, maybe two gigs with them. Um, and if you know Anathema, their early releases, um, they were just, you know, pure doom death metal. Absolutely brilliant. This is when they had uh, Darren White on vocals. Uh, he was a lovely lad. Yeah, so we got to know these guys. And like I say, you know, um, I suppose in hindsight, we should have got these things signed back in the day. But, you know, we were all young lads and on that road, just doing our doing our um, our thing and meeting all these other interesting bands. I don't suppose you know what they're kind of going to go on to in the future, but yeah, so that's it. Um, some of my prized possessions, all demo tapes, uh, and I hope it's not a bit big-headed of me to show my own in there, you know, but um, I think we only maybe ever, ever produced maybe 200 of these so there is only 200 of those in existence um, and I'm lucky enough to still have one we used to give them out left right and centre we sold them at gigs but we used to give them out as well so sometimes you end up giving them all out and you're not left with any yourself um, so that's it guys yeah thank you very much for watching um, good luck to everybody who enters Travis's competition 
Uh, I'm looking forward to watching more of his videos. Like I said, I'm fairly new to his channel, but um, looking forward to um, um, yeah, seeing more of his content. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. All the best, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Hello, again, guys. Sorry. I always like to let you know what I'm listening to in the background. The Mighty Forbidden. This is um, a, sort of a, the best of, which is kind of mad. They only had two albums out at the time, but the best of Forbidden, Point of No Return. Absolutely love this band, so I'll pick up anything of theirs. Um, there is a CD that I've seen released in Australia that's got um, the demos on, and I've, I only ever saw it once, and it was going for massive money. Um, but yeah, I'd love to get hold of that, the, all the demos when they were called Forbidden Evil. I think even maybe with Rob Flynn, because he was originally in this band. But yeah, this is Forbidden. Um, songs off the first two albums, and a live version of Victim of Changes. So that's it, guys. Yeah, sorry I forgot. Thanks again. Bye-bye.